One of the most common complaints women have that they come to me with is, I want an emotionally mature man. Well, this video is gonna kind of parse apart what really you can do to identify an emotionally mature man and what you are probably doing wrong in assessing if he's emotionally mature at all in the first place. So let's dive right in because this is going to be a good one. All right. Number one, men show their emotional matureness differently than we do. What does that even mean? So a man may be emotionally mature, but not talking about it and may not want to share emotionally with you at the beginning. In the very least, they usually take a little bit of time but they might still be emotionally mature, just not in the way that you have in your head that they should be. You see, men and women are super different. Men are usually quieter. And the most common complaint I hear is that men don't share their emotions. Well, they're not just wired like that. One of the most common complaints I hear from women is that men are just not emotionally mature. What does that even mean? Well, for a woman, it means being in touch with their emotions and sharing them. For a man, it means knowing what he wants and going and doing it. Men don't necessarily want or need to talk about how they feel and they don't want to talk about how they feel. They, once they recognize what they're feeling, they want to move on with their life. And you might be saying, yeah, that's the problem. Well, why is that a problem? You see, we think because we talk about everything with girlfriends and with our partners, we want to share everything. We think that when men don't share, that's a bad thing. And it isn't necessarily. Let me ask you this question. If you got all your needs met, you felt heard, you felt loved, you felt cherished. You were able to share your emotions with him and he was, he was able to hear you and support you. Would you at that point care if he shared about his emotions? Probably less, probably less. And here's why. Because we think that men should share emotionally with us in order for us to feel satisfied, to feel happy, because we pick on that as being lacking or missing in men in relationships. But really what's lacking and missing in your relationships have been feeling heard, feeling loved, feeling important, feeling respected, feeling cherished. If you felt all of those things, you wouldn't be caring if he does it the right way or not, his emotional state or sharing his emotions, right? If you like this video so far, hit the thumbs up button to let me know and definitely subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the videos that I publish twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right, to my last point. Be the woman that he feels comfortable with opening up to. What does that mean? A man does not open up to a woman or to anyone very early and very quickly. This is, I'm not going to go into the whole, you know, biology or history of this necessarily, but basically it is a biological safety mechanism for a man that comes from the hunter gatherer days. So men do not reveal their emotional state very early on um, before they're very certain that they are in a safe environment. So this rings true as well for dating. When you are with a man and he starts feeling safe with you, you are emotionally safe to him, meaning you're not badgering him, you're not pressuring him. You create moments that are fun and light and connecting when you are together, but you're not pressuring him in between the times that you don't see each other. You are focused on your life. You're dating other men. You are not fixated on making sure he does everything the right way, which is texting you enough and calling you enough and all these things that we put so much pressure on men to do. And he starts feeling 
wow, she's a real safe resting place for me to look forward to every couple of days when I see her. And every time you have a moment with him, you create deeper intimacy to the level that's appropriate. So on a second date, you might, um, you know, you might show your vulnerability a little bit more and you might be just a little bit more open to him. Um, you're not going to share all your deepest, darkest secret on a, on a second date, but you might six months six months in, right? So it, it's always appropriate to the level of where you're at in your relationship or in your dating that you start really connecting deeper and deeper. And this allows him to feel safer and safer and safer. And he will start naturally opening up his thoughts and feelings about what's going on in his inner world. The second you ask a man what he feels, he is going to shut down, I guarantee you. And I want you to post in the comments if you've experienced this, because I have experienced it so many times until I learned about this concept. Men do not want to be asked any questions, especially about their emotional state or what they feel or think about something, and especially, especially about where the relationship is going. Men don't want to be asked about that, okay? When a man wants to share his feelings for you, trust me, he will. And if he's not sharing, he's not ready. Or he just doesn't feel it. Or he doesn't feel it yet. Okay? So be the woman that he is going to feel safe and comfortable enough with to open up to. Just be that woman. Embody her. And I have tons of videos about femininity, about not asking questions, responding, don't answer, all the things that this culminates into. So go check out my channel, watch as many videos as you want and um, enjoy and leave me a message. Let me know what you think and let me know if this is something that you never thought of or that is new to you and that has helped you. All right, I will leave that there for now and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.